Well, the pandemic put a stop to a lot of things, including many aspects of education and an annual list from the Georgia Department of Education, which is back. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony joins us live in studio with more on the results. Good morning to you, TJ. Good morning. That's right. The Georgia Department of Education released their list for schools that they say need extra help this month. Now, the lists are called Comprehensive Support and Improvement Schools and Targeted Support and Improvement Schools. That's CSI and TSI for short. Now, the state creates those lists to give those schools the resources and support they need for academic recovery. My grandchildren education means a lot to me. Keisha Harp not only wants her grandchildren to do well academically now while they're young, but also if they go off to college. But in order for them to ever get to that point, Things like this being brought to our attention is vital. She's talking about the Georgia Department of Education list of schools for comprehensive support and improvement or CSI and targeted support and improvement or TSI. Georgia updated the standards for its CSI list for 2022 based on data limitations due to the pandemic. That's according to Stephen Jones, Bibb County's executive officer of school improvement. They only use one indicator this particular school year. Which was content mastery. Yes. Five bib schools were on the CSI list. Ballard Hudson, Ingram Pie, Southfield, Veterans, and Williams Elementary School, the same school Harp's grandchildren go to. While some bib schools were on the CSI list, others got off. Half of those schools that were initially on the list have exited the CSI list. Some of the schools now off. We have uh, Union Elementary, we have Appling Middle School. We have uh, Hartley Elementary School. As for what's being done at the CSI schools? Uh, Georgia Department of Education, they send in school effectiveness specialists. We also have Middle Georgia RESA, and we are a partnership together to support those identified schools. There are also other ways to make sure your child gets the academic help they need. Our district has purchased Tutor.com for every student in our district. So that's one uh, avenue. We also have after school programs uh, that our students can participate in each and every day. So the upcoming generation can work toward their future and parents can too. Um, my ultimate goal for all of them that I want everybody to have a collegiate edu education. Over 50 schools made the improvements necessary to exit the CSI or TSI support list. Wanya, it's great to see that not only Georgia Department of Education is supporting them, but also BIP schools are making the improvements to support these schools. Wow, great job on that story, TJ. A very informative story. Thank you so much for that. I know BIP County schools are going to continue to make those improvements. Over 100 schools were identified for comprehensive support and improvement, and 59 were identified for targeted support and improvement.